Hello, it's Micah Somariba, and this is a how-to on how to detect moisture in your house. I'll give an overview of the moisture meters and an explanation of the commonly used moisture meters. This first one is a hydro sensor that we use to roughly detect moisture in porous materials such as carpeting. This is a non-penetrating meter used to detect moisture in the same way, usually in drywall, wood, concrete, those things. This is a hygrometer that we use to detect moisture in the air. A penetrating meter that we use to detect moisture in different ways. A sea snake that we use to detect moisture in hard to see and get to areas. And a thermal imaging camera that we use to detect moisture in areas that we can't get to easily as well. The that measures the moisture through the temperature variation of different materials. This first, me this first meter is a, a non-penetrating meter that uses electrical conductivity against the two pads on the back to measure the moisture difference, i.e. the conductivity of the um, electrical current going across two, two areas. This is a penetrating meter that, we, that does the same type of detection except across those two, two points. When you put your finger on it, you'll see that the um, human body has a roughly 30 to 40 percent moisture, which is common. And this is the hygrometer that we use to measure the relative humidity and the temperature in the air to make sure when we're doing restoration that the moisture is coming down. We'll use a, a variation of these meters to detect the moisture in your house. At Dry Express Restoration, we're San Diego's choice for all your water, fire, mold, and reconstruction needs.